We're in Windows Server 2016. Let's take a look at how we turn on Network Discovery. So if we go to File Explorer and we click on Network, we get the rude message saying that Network Discovery is turned off. So we've got to go into Network and Sharing Center. No problem. We can do that. So we can do one of two things. We can either click on this box here and choose Network Discovery, turn it on, Network Discovery and File Sharing, or we can go into Network and Sharing Center and click on Change Advanced Sharing and turn it on here. So either way, works fine. Go ahead and click Save Changes. And let's go ahead and refresh. And now we see all of our shared resources. Now, if you're still not seeing your shared resources, it means we need to do an additional step. So let's go ahead and take a look at our services and make sure that our services are all turned on that we need. So we go to our Tools menu in Server Manager and go to Services. And then we're going to make sure that several services are turned on. One of them is going to be the DNS client. So we'll just go ahead and go there, and we can see that that one is running. So that one's good. Another one will be the Function Discovery Resource Publication. So we'll just go down to there, and we see it's set to manual. So we can go ahead and change that to automatic, and click Start. All right, next thing we want to go check is the SSDP. So we'll just type the letter S, takes us right down there, and we'll go ahead and look for SSDP Discovery. Double click on that, go to automatic, apply, and start. And the last one we want to do is UPnP. So let's go ahead and go to UPnP device host. It's disabled as well. Automatic, apply, start. So the reason you want to look for those services, even if Discovery works, is when you restart your server, you may find that Discovery turns itself back off again. By making sure these services are turned on when you restart, the uh, Discovery should automatically stay on. Now, if these services go back to being disabled or stopped again, then it could be because you have a local security policy or a group policy that says that these services can't run, and you'll need to take a look at that. Now, we're not covering that in this video, but we do have other videos on the channel where you can go take a look at the local security policy as well as group policy. So that's how we turn on Network Discovery in Windows Server 2016.